Hey guys, it's been a long time, I need a haircut, but I am back after a long hiatus because it's Memorial Day weekend, which means I have more time to record and do my homework than normal. This is the second episode or a part of the IO vs Yamato uh, series, and this video is solely about fire control. Now, it was going to be about other things before, it was going to be about fire control, damage control, optics, radar, that good stuff, but uh, considering how much information there is and how much there is to cover on this one topic, I chose to make one single episode about this topic only. Now, the common consensus, on the internet at least, is that the Iowa had a much superior fire control system than the Yamato class. However, after looking at historical records and actual battle performances, I'm gonna make the bold claim that Yamato actually had a superior fire control system than, than Iowa. Now, my evidence, which I obviously need to support my claim, comes from two different battles. One in which Yamato fired upon um, enemy battleships, or warships, and one in which Iowa fired upon enemy warships, both service warships, and both in 1944. And they are Operation Hailstorm, the attack on Truck Lagoon by uh, US warships, and two, the Battle of Samar in 1944. Yeah, 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 you know what that is, hopefully. Before I present that evidence, I'm gonna start off with uh, a clarification. During World War II, Radar-based fire control was actually far inferior to that of uh, optic-based fire control because, um, well, back then radar wasn't as accurate as it, w as it was now, and it wasn't able to go over the horizon as it is now. And so claims that Iowa would be able to blind fire Yamato at night at long range, like in excess of 30,000 meters, while Yamato would be helpless to respond, is absolute bullshit. Mostly because um, radar was pretty much absolute shit in terms of accuracy at ranges more than like point blank range. In the point blank range, even optics would do the fire at night. And so let's take a look at the actual battlefield performance of Iowa's uh, Mark 8 radar uh, fire control system and her optics. The one time that any ship of her class fired upon, um, upon enemy uh, service warships was during Operation Hailstorm, 1944, the US attack on a Japanese major, a, a major Japanese naval base in the South Pacific. And in the battle, Iowa and New Jersey both fired upon Japanese uh, cruisers and destroyers uh, during the attack. And the two ships I want to focus on are the light cruiser Katori and the destroyer Noaki. Now both ships were fired upon by Iowa and New Jersey, but only one was sunk. Now the light cruiser Katori was engaged and sunk by Iowa in an opening range of 17,000 yards, which is around... Give me a sec. 17,000 yards or 15.5 thousand meters. Now this would be impressive except for the fact that Katori had already been immobilized and damaged by US carrier based aircraft. Which means that Katori was a, a sitting duck. Uh, it, she wasn't moving, she wasn't evading, she wasn't, doing, she wasn't doing anything. And even then it took Iowa 46 uh, main battery shells to, uh, to sink her. And of those 46, only two, two, sport hits. Now of that and five, um, five secondary battery shells, but those aren't really relevant in this topic. And that comes up to a hit percentage of around 4.3%, which is lower than, uh, than, I than Yamato's entire record during the Battle of Samar. But that wasn't even her worst engagement record. Her worst was alongside the, uh, the, uh, the Iowa class battleship New Jersey against the destroyer Noaki. Iowa and New Jersey, both of which are Iowa class battleships, engage uh, the destroyer Noaki at an opening range of around 32,000 yards or around 29,000 meters. And the two of them fired upon Noaki using their optic based fire control and their forward battery because optic was preferred to, uh, to radar. And once Noaki escaped over the horizon at around 35,000 yards, only then did they switch to radar based fire control. And even then, they fired until she ran out of uh, radar range at 39,000 yards, and still they stored no hits. And so between the two of them, in spite of firing over 200 rounds in the supposedly superior and incredible fire control uh, system, they scored no hits on Noaki between uh, 32,000 and 39,000 yards. <coughs> now this means that the longest range at which any ship of the Iowa class battleship could have, uh, could have hit a service target was around 17,000 yards or 15.5 thousand meters. Now let's compare that to Yamato and her performance during the Battle of Samar. Now as I've covered before in some previous videos, Yamato actually scored at least four hits, uh, three on USS Johnston and one against white, uh, USS White Plains during the Battle of, of Samar with a couple more possible ones on Gambier Bay and Howell. 
and still the longest range at which any ship of the Yamato class fired upon and hit a, a, an enemy's surface target was in, was in excess of 32,000 meters. Now that's pretty much twice the range at which Yamato could have hit uh, Katori. It was probably a, li a little bit um, closer because she, she was moving in while firing. And so the numbers are for Iowa, two hits. Maximum range, 50.5 thousand meters. For Yamato, at least four hits. Maximum range, around 32 thousand meters. And both fired around the same number of rounds against, uh, against enemy warships. And so, looking at these numbers, it's pretty clear that Yamato's fire control system was far superior to Iowa's. At least in practice. Perhaps not in theory, but in practice, Yamato's fire control system was far superior to Iowa's and was more able to hit ships accurately. Clearly, this is a pretty controversial opinion, so if you have any opposition to it, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to pretty quickly respond to it and disprove it. Um, I have school and stuff, so I'm not really sure if I'll be able to. But if you like the video, yes, leave a like, subscribe, and um, hopefully I'll be back very soon with part three. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.